Good morning, children. Before I start the lesson, I would like to tell you a small story. There was a boy called Gautam. He wanted to celebrate his birthday in an orphanage. His parents were so happy. Hey? My child wanted to celebrate his birthday in an orphanage. So his father, Sinu, went to a shop and bought a cake. And Sinu and his mother, mother Lakshmi and Gautam, all the three, went to an orphanage. So what they did, there were seven girls and there were three boys in an orphanage. Gautam cut the cake into ten equal parts. And the girls got seven by ten of the cake, the girls got. And the boys got three by ten of the... Three by ten of the part of the cake was given to the boys. So what is this seven by ten and what is this three by ten? What do you call this? This is what you call it as a fraction. So this is the lesson what I am going to start with today. So what is the lesson? Fraction. And one more story I'll, with this I will tell you. See there was a girl called Ranjita. See during a holiday she wanted to help her mother. See there was a wardrobe in her house. There was a small wardrobe in her house. There was five shelf. One, two, three, one, two, three, four and five. Five shelves were there. Okay, one, two, three, four and five shelves. So what Ranjita did is one, two and three. All the three shelves she arranged with the clothes. That is three by five of the wardrobe was covered with what do you call clothes and remaining this two by five was not arranged. So what this is what three by five and this two by five is only what we call it as a fraction. Yeah, there is one activity which we can do it in the class now. See what is the activity is I'll just draw 16 circles now. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So now what you have to do is one by four of sixteen. So one by four of sixteen circles you have to color with red. And one by two that is half of sixteen you have to color with green. And half, sorry, 1 by 4 of six, 16 again, you color with blue. So again, I'll repeat. 1 by 4 of 16 circles, you color with red. Now we'll start now. 1 by 4 of 16 is what? 4. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So 1 by 4 of 16, I've colored with red. Now half of 16. What is half of 16 is 8. So this 8 circles I have to color with green color. Now what is half? Next one is 1 by 4 of 16. What is 1 by 4 of 16 is 4. This 4 I have to do with blue color. 1 by 4 of 16 you have to color with blue color. Now, just tell me how many circles are how many circles are in red color? How many circles are in blue color? How many circles are in green color? Now how many first question, how many circles are red color and how many are in blue color and how many are in green color. Now how many circles are red in color? 1, 2, 3 and 4. That is 1 by 4. 1 by 4 of 16 circles. So this is what this is colored in red color. Okay next. How many circles are colored in blue color? 1, 2, 3 and 4. So 1 by 4 of 16 are colored in blue color. The last one, how many circles are colored in green color? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 
and 8. So 1 by 8 of sorry 1 by 2 that is half of I am sorry half of 16 are colored with green color. So what is it how many so this is what you call it as a fraction 1 by 4 and 1 by 2 is what you call it as a fraction. This is what you call it as a fraction 1 by 4 1 by 4 1 by 2 this is what you call it as a fraction fraction what is fraction fraction is a number fraction is a number representing the part of the whole See, I told you, I gave you an activity also, 1 by 4, 1 by 2, 1 by 4, and one more story I told you, Gautam story, 7 by 10, 3 by 10. So, this is all what we call it as a fraction. And this whole may be a single object or a group of objects. So, what is fraction? I'll repeat once again. Fraction is a number representing the part of the whole and this whole may be a single object or a sing the whole the whole may be a single object or a group of object it may be a single object or a group of objects so example i think i told you the activity which what i told you the coloring in the circle coloring the circles 1 by 4 1 by 2 1 by 4 and the gautam orphanage how the cutting of cakes 7 by 10 and 3 by 10 so this all what you call it as a fraction okay you have understood what is fraction. See, there's one more thing. I'll just draw you a chocolate, a piece of chocolate. I think everyone likes this chocolate. One, two, and three, and four. So one, two, three, four. Four parts of chocolate Kavita was having. See, Kavita was having five parts of chocolate. One, two, three, and four, and five. See, Raman, he wanted three parts of chocolate. That is one, 2 and 3. So, Raman wanted 3 parts. That is 3 by 5. So, what is this 3 by 5? 3 is the numerator. 3 is the numerator and 5 is the denominator. Now, again I will tell you. See, this is 5 parts of chocolate. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, Kavita was having 5 parts of chocolate. And Raman wanted three parts. One, two and three. That is three by five parts of the cake. He, uh, part of the cake, uh, chocolate he wanted Ram, Raman. And this three is numerator and five is the denominator. Now what is numerator? Now what is numerator and what is denominator? Can anyone tell what is numerator and what is denominator? Yes. Numerator is the part, equal parts. That is the equal parts which is taken from the whole. What is the numerator? The equal parts which is taken from the whole. Which is taken from the whole. And what is denominator? It is the equal parts. It is the equal parts. It is the equal parts which the whole has been divided. Which? The whole has been divided. Now I'll repeat what is numerator? The equal parts. The equal parts. 1, 2, 3. The equal parts into the which the whole is the, it is taken from the whole of the object. And what is denominator? The equal parts. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This 5 is which the whole has been divided. Yes, children, I think you must have understood numerator and denominator. Now, we will just little bit of practice we will do. Pick out the numerator and denominator. Pick out the numerator and denominator in the given fractions. Pick out the numerator and the num denominator from the, in the given fractions. In the given fractions. And what you have to do, just put 
in the numerator box you have to put that number and in the denominator number you have to fill up or you have to put the number now first one 4 by 6 now how will you put 4 by 6 which one is the numerator and which one is the denominator yes 4 is the numerator and 6 is the denominator very good second one 7 by 12 now which one is the numerator here 7 is the numerator and 12 is the denominator now next 13 by 20 now can anyone tell what is numerator which one is the numerator and which one is the denominator yes 13 is the numerator and 20 is the denominator so what is numerator 4 by 6 in 4 by 6 which is a numerator 4 is the numerator and denominator is a 6 and in 7 by 12 7 is a numerator and 12 is a denominator in 13 by 20 13 is a numerator and 20 is the denominator